Let us now move on to the accounting treatment for bills of exchange and promissory note. <clears throat> Now, we have understood the distinction between a bill of exchange and a promissory note. However, as far as accounting transactions are concerned, when money is receivable, whether it is from a bill of exchange or a promissory note, we call it a bill receivable. When money is to be paid, whether on a bill of exchange or a promissory note, we call it a bills payable. So a bill of exchange is when money is to be received. Therefore, it is an asset. It is called a bill receivable in the books of the person who has received an accepted bill of exchange. So in our example, when X had sold goods to Y, X drew the bill of exchange and it was accepted by Y. So in the books of X, this bill of exchange is shown as a bills receivable. Similarly, if X had sold goods to Y and Y has given a promissory note, signed a promissory note, promising to pay X after three months, in X's books, this promissory note would be recorded as a bill receivable. So irrespective of whether it is a bill of exchange or a promissory note, when money is to be received, when money is receivable, it is called a bills receivable. Bills receivable is an asset. It appears as a current asset on the asset side of the balance sheet. What is a current asset? An asset which is converted to cash within a short time, within less than a year. So a bill of exchange on which money is to be received or a promissory note against which money is to be received would be called bills receivable in the books of the person who is to receive the money. The same document would be called a bill payable in the books of the person who has to make the payment, whether on the promissory note or on a bill of exchange. So in the books of Y, in our example, the same documents, whether it was a bill of exchange or promissory note, it would be known as a bill payable. Bill payable is a liability. It is when money has to be paid. Therefore, it is a bills payable in, in the books of the person who accepts the bill of exchange or who makes a promissory note, prepares the promissory note, promising to make payment. The nature of a bill receivable or a bill payable is that it is a personal account representing the account of the debtor or the creditor. A bill receivable represents the account of the debtor in the books of the creditor. In the books of X, in the books of X, bill receivable, in the books of X, bills receivable represents the account of Y to whom sales was made. Similarly, in the books of Y, bills payable is nothing but representation of the account of X to whom money is payable. That is why bills payable is a liability, but it's a personal account representing the account of the creditor to whom payment has to be made. Bills receivable, on the other hand, is an asset, is a receivable account. It represents the personal account of the debtor from whom money is to be received. Bills payable 
incidentally will appear on the liability side of the balance sheet under current liability.